only evidence okay. we have is the, is the old okay. paper. Okay. That's all. No, no, I can understand where you come from. You're saying this in itself is no more evidence than basically going in a circular argument to is this authentic? Exactly, exactly. my point, yes. Okay. Right. I can understand that. The only other layer of evidence I can bring to bear is the fact that we both agree the temple exists. Do we both agree that the temple exists? The temple well, existed at one time. Yeah. Okay. Do you know what the temple was for? For prayers. What else the temple is for? It's for worship, isn't it? Do you know why the temple was built? Uh, to basically cover the holies of the holies. Okay, this is where the gap between what the monotheists understood and what you can understand based on the scant evidence in the Quran. There's a, there's, there's a world away from the reality. Of I did not even mention understand. the Quran. So no. I think, the, 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 this wait, is wait, wait, wait. With all due respect, yeah. when you make statements like that, sure. yes, without yeah. any evidence, did I mention the Quran? No, 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 no I did not. No, I, I wasn't making so don't say scant no. evidence when in I the Quran. Scan, compared to the evidence that I've got here in my Torah and the references, you would agree that the Quranic references to the Old Testament would at the very best be scant in compared to all of them. Okay. And you don't need them. I'm not saying you need them. Exactly. So the Quran did not come. The, yes. the Quran did not come sure. to prove to us what is in the Old Testament. The Quran is a book yes. that was given to Prophet confirming Muhammad, the last, yes, the last messengers, yeah. confirming not only what came before in terms of the okay. teachings, also confirming the previous prophets and the messengers. Right. You just contradicted yes? yourself. No, no, I did not. What I'm saying is that it confirms yeah. that Moses existed, that yeah. that Jacob existed, and the temple that, uh, that Noah, Noah existed, and that the Adam existed. And the temple? I don't think there's any mention of the temple in the Quran from what I know. See, I might be, I might this be is mistaken. my point. This but, is my but, point. But wait a minute, wait a minute. Colin, the detail the two, is lacking. Yeah, we don't need the details for our salvation. This is the difference between us. The details are available, but you say that they're not reliable. Okay, no, 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 no. Don't, 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 don't change what I said. I said, I said the details are not necessary because they are not required for our salvation. Okay, I understand it. Because the Quran is the final revelation, yes. because the Quran is its the focus criteria, is I can on understand. Revelation. Essentially, Worship the Quran is your method of exegesis. No, no, it is. No, it's not. Because the, the Quran must stop. The Quran, it, the you Quran. can't believe in anything that the Quran doesn't doesn't va validate. The Quran and the Sunnah, both. Okay. So we have the Quran and the Sunnah. Okay. Right. So because I asked Colin to prove to us Moses existed from the Bible, sure. from outside the Bible, unfortunately, you were unable to do that. Even though you tried, but so you were I, unable. I was unable. You were to unable to prove Moses existed without reference to the Bible. Without reference to the yes. Bible. So from archaeological perspective, you were unable to prove the existence of Moses. Do you think, Can we agree on do that? Do you think the Talmud confirms that Moses existed? The Talmud. Mm. Again, the Talmud, when you talk about the Talmud, the oral tradition yeah. of the of the Jewish people, yeah, yeah. again, it's, it's, it's from the scriptures. The, the oral tradition of the people who gave us the Old Testament, the Torah, have always uni uniformly involved Moses as the centerpiece of their whole religion. He was the person, he was the patriarch of patriarchs. Are you trying to say that there's, unless I can... That's still not archaeological evidence. Okay, okay. So shall we agree there is no archaeological evidence which you claimed earlier with regards to Moses? Are you going to agree about that? With regards to Moses? Yes. Okay, yeah, this is an archaeological evidence. What? The, the, the Talmud. Torah, the Torah. Oh, all the Talmud. Please. No, I'm agreeing with you. Allow me to agree with you. I'm, that's not a trap. I agree with you. I'm yes, agreeing yes, with you. So you agree I'm what? Saying, that I'm there is no archaeological evidence. That my claim I can give you archaeological evidence has not been backed up by my reference to the Talmud or to the Torah. Okay, so as far as Moses is concerned, okay. we don't have any archaeological evidence. To prove that he exists? Yes. Do we need it? As, as believers, we don't need it, yeah. but because that is a claim you made. Sorry, uh, yeah. No, no, call it, call it. Because that was the standard you used. Yeah. You, you know, remember. Moses is not call a piece no, no, of archaeolo call it, archaeological. Call it. We were discussing yeah. about the, the hadith. Yes? Okay. I, told, I told you that we have the science of hadith. We have yeah. the chain of narration. Sure. We have the matan, the body itself, to verify. Right. We have the, the, uh, the elmo rajal, which is basically every single note within the chain of narration. Sure. Sure. We know who they were. We know their biographies. Yes? yes. You, on the other hand, have a thousand year gap, which you cannot fill without... The only way you can ascertain... Sorry, the yeah. only way you will believe what Moses said is basically take at face value what you have in the extant manuscripts or in the uh, Pentateuch or in the um, 
the, the Dead Sea Scrolls, which, right. which again yeah, date to a thousand years after Moses. Okay. Well, you know wait, wait, wait. Yeah, go on. The difference between that yeah. and the hadith that we have, even the weakest hadith, yes. Yes, the Da'if hadith we have, yes, even the Da'if hadith, the weak hadith, they have the chain of narration, they have the matan, they have the al rijal to back it up. But you see, yeah. unfortunately for the Christians and the Jews, they do not have such a, a rich science to verify their scriptures. All you have to say is, yes, this is what we found in the Dead Sea Scroll, uh, scroll okay. in, in, in a desert a long time ago. And we are going to believe that is exactly what the people believed when Moses used to preach the Torah. Right. Yeah. But you see, the, this the, is a claim. This is nothing okay. that you can verify. You know, the problem exists though in a whole ream of Quranic verses that actually confirm these books that you're saying I can't prove to be true. So you need the Quran to no. verify your, uh, your book? For you, I think. But it's not for me, I'm asking about you. Yeah, how will you verify? See, I, I you know, so many times I've asked no. you this question, Colin, how will I, you verify? Not how will I no, verify? No, no. How will you, as a believer, yeah. verify? Now you're saying the only way you'll fall back is on the Quran. Seriously? Right. No, for you, because it's the only way. Because it's for me, the question is for you, my okay, friend. Okay. How well, will Colin we've been verify that your old, the Old Testament okay. that you have today right. in possession, which you have a thousand well, year I'm gap gonna, between the yeah. extant Let me have, earth, Let me have extant a go. Manuscript. Okay, what I have here is a 900 year predating Torah to the Quran. This is the Torah that was accessible by the community of people called book? the Jews. No the ones on whom we base uh, are being people of the book. The monotheistic foundations, they accept this book. They do not dispute it. They don't dispute anything in this book. This has been accepted uniformly within the whole history of Judaism and from the earliest, earliest copies, this is it. Now, she, she, prove it, she, it? She, 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 predated Muhammad by 900 years, it doesn't authenticate it. Now, the only way that he can coherently undermine this is to produce me something else. Colin, Colin, can you produce Colin, me a... you know what you have done there? When I asked you the question, yeah. you put the question back on me. Look, I don't need... Hold on, hold on, Colin, listen to the question. I, I think that I is... A, I I the problem is you're not listening. Listen to the question. The question is for you as a Christian. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Because you believe that the Old Testament and the New Testament yeah. are both revelations from God. I do. They're both inspirations from God. Yeah. Now you see, before the Quran came, mm. like you said, 600 years or even more, like 2,000 years sure. since Moses, whatever you say, yeah. despite that, regardless of that, yes. how will you call it? If you were in the time of, say, um, before Muhammad, 100 years before Muhammad, before even the Quran was revealed. Okay, I, listen, 580. Yeah, listen. Yes. Before Prophet Muhammad was even born. Yes. Yes? Yeah. Let's say you were a believing Christian. You had that book in your hand. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. How will you call in, yeah. verify what Moses said mm -hmm. more than 1400 years, or sorry, in that time it will be like 1900 years. Sure. Yes? Yeah. How will you verify? I'd ask the Jews. And you'll take it at face value? I would. You would. Yep. So the Jews will tell you. Who would you ask? Wait a minute. Who would you ask? Wait a minute. One at a time. Yeah. So the Jews the will tell you. The Jews will tell you. They'll show me. No, they will tell you. They won't tell me. They will show me. They will show you. So you're telling me that yeah. if they show you the book, you'll believe it. They will show me a copy that predates Muhammad by 900 years. You keep saying that. Is, it, is, that, is that like a point you're trying to score there? No, the, the point is... Just because it predates no, something no. doesn't mean it's true. <laughs> if you can't show me... Otherwise you'd you become know. a Hindu, you know, well, the Bhagavad Gita predates the Old Testament by so many th hundreds yeah. and thousands of years. Confined, but the thing is, yeah, you wouldn't believe in the Bhagavad Gita shame, as the shame, original shame. Shame. Uh, We're confined, unfortunately, with time and space and matter. So as far as asking for evidence, matter meaning physical yeah. things, right? When you say to me, show me evidence. Yes. How will you verify what Moses and, said? And I go back to the very earliest evidence. Which and is? you claim, is hang on, but you're saying, you need to prove this wrong. I no, don't need to no, prove no, no, this no, no, right. No. The onus is on you because no, you are making no, no. the claim. You're the one who believes in Yes. I don't need to believe in it. Right. All I need to know is that Torah was given to Moses yes. and the angel was given to his... Show me where Colin, the corruption Colin, are. wait a minute. Let yeah. me finish. Yeah. As a Muslim, yeah. all I'm required to believe is that the Torah was revealed to Musa a.s. and the angel was revealed to Isa a.s. Yes. So as far as my faith is concerned, yes, I already believe that. I don't need to produce actual evidence to believe that. That is my faith. Wait, 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 you don't wait a minute. Colin, Colin, wait a minute. My faith. Yeah. I can believe that by faith it was it was given to him. 
I also know that over time these books were corrupted and things were added in it and things were removed from it. Again, this is mentioned in the Quran, in Surah Al-Baqarah, verse 79, in Surah Al-Ma'idah, verse 38 and so on. So this evidence is already there in the Quran that these books were corrupted. However, the Quran and the Sunnah do not say... Can you stop? Can you stop? I understand. No, no, I haven't Quran, finished. Quran. The Quran and the Hadith do not say that all of the Old Testament and all of the New Testament have been corrupted. It does not say that. But there is corruption in it. It does mention that. Okay, Hashim, what you're Let saying Let me finish. Then. I haven't finished. You need to understand the question I'm asking. The yeah. question I'm asking yeah. you is that without you yeah. using evidence, i.e. the Quran, because you know you don't believe in the Quran, Yes, you don't believe in the sunnah, yeah, and I'm so not you cannot. To either. Yeah, exactly. So you, so for you to, you are. for you to take support from the Quran okay. and the Hadith okay. would be pointless because this, you don't believe in it. This is my, this is what puzzles me. What? I'm not required to believe in my faith the Quran. Hashim, on the other hand, is bound to accept this Torah. O, pe o people of the Scripture, you are nothing until you uphold the Torah and the Gospel and what has been revealed to you. So what Hashim is saying, I need to provide evidence that goes back beyond the 900 years prior to the Quran, but the only evidence he needs to provide is evidence 900 years later than my evidence. No, I don't. No, because your sole, Read that no, no, again. No. your sole root, your sole source of evidence is something that came 900 years ago. No, after that's not my sole evidence. Well, what my, other evidence my sole have you evidence, got? My sole evidence is the Quran. Well, I've just said that. Okay. Read that, read that, years. read that, read that verse again, the one you just read. Can we just confirm that what, what you've just said? What? I made the statement that your evidence, your source of evidence is 900 years later than my evidence. I'm not what is required. The point, you're no, the point I'm saying is, you're asking me yeah. to provide you with archaeological evidence, scriptural evidence, a whole raft of evidences that actually predate the evidence I've got to show that it goes right back to, to yes, Moses. Exactly. This is what you're yes. asking. And, and you haven't I'm been able to, you, to provide them. What I'm saying to you is, I can give you evidence. I can give you a quantity of evidence. You tried, but you failed. Hang on, hang on. And the only evidence you've got yeah. is something which is written 900 years after this that I'm not even required to believe in. No, no, hold on, hold on. This is what I don't understand. You see, you see that, it doesn't make Colin, sense. you see, this is very, very different. The, why do you think I asked you for yeah. archaeological evidence? Yes. Because that is what you claim you have. Okay. But when I actually questioned you on it, yeah. it turns out you don't have anything. Pin me down on it. I did. Right, pin yes. me down again on it. Okay. Pin me down. Pin, pin okay. you down? Okay. Wait a minute. What, first and foremost, do yes. you agree that that is the evidence that you claim you have? I'm claiming that there is archaeological evidence to support the existence of the temple and I can show you very clearly from the people of the book what the purpose of the temple was. But my question wasn't about the temple. Remember my question was about Moses. And you and you said you had Ar archaeological evidence archaeological to prove this evidence things. that links the existence of Moses with the temple. Is, is what no, I, no. I've you done, know how you and I succeeded okay. in Colin doing Colin that. you I know how you you know, very you, well you know how you link Moses to the temple yes. if there was an inscription on the yes. temple wait no 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 that is not archaeology if you if no, you find him to the listen listen if you find an inscription on the temple that mentions the name of Moses for example then it would link Moses to the temple archaeologically what you're saying you have evidence in here wait wait Colin Colin on, no. I don't think you understand Go the on, meaning no. of archaeological think, evidence uh, in order for you to Moses link is Moses not archaeological. no I didn't say Moses no. I said the evidence of yeah. Moses as existence yeah. yes, yes? Yeah. Yeah. is for you to find an inscription yes on a temple gotcha. Gotcha. on a gotcha. temple gotcha. Gotcha. and then I would say yes okay. you have a link yeah. to Moses okay. Okay. and this is proved tell me archaeologically tell me if you think this is an adequate answer to what you've just said yeah, you tell me right what I've tried to do and I think I've already proven it I'm trying to link Moses with the archaeological evidence of the temple. I can't provide you with archaeological evidence of Moses because I don't know where his bones are. But That's all I, I can I show to you that in the history of the Jewish people, they had a Moses temple. and the temple. Now the temple is my link to the archaeological evidence. No, it's not. It is. It's not. Unless you find an inscription of Moses in the temple, then you'll have an archaeological evidence I'm of Moses. You. All you have is an archaeological yeah. evidence that a temple existed. And even then, this temple what have you got of the temple today? The Western Wall? 
The Western Wall was basically built much later on. I'd ask yes? you, you, you know the stones you see there, these are not the real yeah, stones. Yeah. These were built later Hashim, on. Hashim, in the Quran, does it mention the temple or anything to do with its specifications or its purpose? Does it mention No, it doesn't. No, not it, that I know. It does in here. This is it's never been disputed by the history of the Jewish people going way, way back. In fact, there is no recorded part of the history of the Jewish people that does anything else but validate what I've just said. But, and you say, hang on, you, are you saying... But Colin, I never, I never asked you about the existence of the temple. Right. You see, you keep going back to the temple because that's yes. the only thing you have archaeologically available. Of course, of yes? course. Yeah, what else but you see, the reason, the reason you want to now focus on the temple yes. is because you're unable to answer my question about the evidence of Moses. What I'm trying to do, I'm trying to link Moses with the temple and show that the story, if you want, you can't pick the temple and Moses apart. They are in there. I'm not picking them no, up. No, but this is my I'm point. asking you, where's the evidence that okay. Moses existed unless you show me an inscription in the temple that mentions Moses? But because you do not have that from 2,000 year old, sorry, not 2,000, in the case of Moses, it would be 3,500 3, years. So if you have a 3,500 year old evidence of an inscription yeah. that mentions Moses, then okay. that would be considered as archaeological evidence in your in your in your okay. in the absence of that all you have is faith right that's okay. not archaeology okay. well look, i'm going to give you some i think um, you're going in circles i think okay yeah what, what we need, no, yeah we should call yeah. it a day unless okay. Fair enough. Fair what i'm saying is colin do yeah, not make I'll have one yeah, yeah do not make assertions okay. that you cannot substantiate yes okay. i can show you things from the quran i can show you from the Bible, yeah. but you see that is something which is faithless. But obviously, there are things within the Quran mm -hmm. and within the the Bible which you can back up from archaeology. I'm not saying okay. there aren't any. Okay. okay? Yeah. All I'm saying is that when it comes to certain things, like for example, I showed you a gap of more than a thousand years between yeah. the extant manuscripts that you have today mm -hmm. of the Old Testament yeah. and the and the time of Moses, more than a thousand years. Now, how can you fill this gap? You said you have archaeological evidence. You said you have archaeological evidence, yeah. and then I asked you, can you show me Moses existed for archaeological yeah. evidence? Yeah. And all you were able to show me is a temple, and even the temple which you showed me is actually an artist, it's uh, an artist uh, representation of what the temple might have looked like. Okay. Yes. Yeah. This yeah. is look. This is nothing. There's nothing wrong in that. An artist imagining sure. what the temple sure. might have looked like. But as yeah. far as the archaeological evidence for Moses is concerned, there is not. Shame. Just kind of to round this up. Yeah, sure. Because. Because in Leviticus, God is saying to Moses, the Lord says to Moses, tell your brother Aaron, he shall not enter at any time into the holy place. Now, unfortunately, Hashim didn't know what the holy place was or its purpose behind the veil. Before the mercy seat, I read out the description of the mercy seat. The mercy seat was in between the two cherubs, clearly referenced here in the country. You didn't tell us what was the purpose. The thing which is on the ark, he shall die. I will appear in the cloud above the mercy seat. That's the purpose. Can I just Sorry, what is the purpose again? The purpose of the mercy seat is where the presence of God would appear on the Day of Atonement. Once what year, happens on the Day of Atonement? This Hold is it. it. This is the Day of Atonement. What happens on the Day of Atonement? Huh? What do they do on the Day of Atonement? The corporate sins of the Jewish no nation are atoned for in vicarious sacrifice. Exactly. So what happens to the sacrifices huh? afterwards? Huh? The yes. blood of the bull of the, of the is Which is exactly what I said. Thank you very much. The blood of the bull is taken into this the temple. This is exactly what I said. They used to actually, uh -huh. use, they used to put the burnt offerings yeah. in this place, in the holies of holies, yeah. yes, and then some sort of a flame would appear, am I right? Yes, so don't tell me I didn't know this. No, we, uh, earlier on you said you didn't. No, I said, I you, told, but you, you were not listening. The, the, no, no, I said they would the put the burnt offerings. So that you said the sacrifices happened in the holy No, place, I didn't say that. I said the burnt offerings were put there. Did you not hear? No, the blood of the burnt offering. The burnt offering couldn't be put in there because it was being okay, burnt. Okay, the blood. The now blood you're getting technical with me. No, the blood is the okay, blood. Okay, anyway, look. Anyway, Hashim, you yeah. know, God bless you. I mean, I was a bit of a bit fine, but we did well. I think we did yeah, well. I'm, I'm happy anyway. with it. I'm happy with it. Well, okay, okay, thank you very much for to everyone. And Jazakallah Khairan for supporting us and uh, for helping us and making dua for us, uh, especially for the da'wah in the park. And maybe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has provided us this opportunity in the park every Sunday to give da'wah. And alhamdulillah, we got brothers like Colin who have discussions and we learn from each other. Yes. So sometimes it, a dialogue turns into a debate and a debate might get a bit... Um, 
Can, can I own up to a mistake? <laughs> we, we get carried sure, away sure. sometimes. Sure. You know, I think part of the problem is we don't ask for God's blessing on the conversation, which we should. We should ask for God to be here. And can I just say, as a, as a Christian, um, the Lord thy God is one. Hear, O Israel, the Lord thy God is one. I believe in one God. Alhamdulillah. And we associate no partners with him. Oh no, due to the the owners. So yeah, assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and jazakallah khairan for your support and for your duas and for for basically for sometimes you guys help us as well in the comment sections. Alhamdulillah. So we learn from you guys as well because sometimes we obviously as being humans we make mistakes and you correct us and we take that on board positively. So criticism, which is constructive, is welcome. That goes for both the Muslims and the non-Muslims. So as humans, we make mistakes. We are learning constantly uh, during the process of the Dawah as well. And inshallah, you guys are learning as well from the knowledge that we provide over here. So Alhamdulillah, like they say, seeking knowledge is from the cradle to grave and we should all aspire to gain as much knowledge as possible both in terms of ilm of, of the of, um, of the deen and ilm of the dunya as well so we can make the most of it in this dunya and we should benefit us in the akhirah as well inshallah assalamu alaikum